Hi guys, <clears throat> today I'm just going to show you all a video on how to set up your wireless on your uh, printer, the 350, the HP DeskJet 350J610 series. That's a picture of it, how it looks like after you've done the whole setup and everything. If you want to set it up to a wireless anyway, it's very simple. I've been looking online to try and get an easy video on how to do that online. That's it right there. It's a bit dusty right now, but that's it right there. It's not connected or anything. I haven't even done it in wireless yet. That's the light blinking, but it's not on wireless yet. Cable, USB cable anyway. So, alright, so let's do this simple after you install everything if you've been using it as a using the port and now you want to do it as a wireless it's simple all you gotta do is go to your start all programs you go to your HP file itself the HP desk 350 series and oh sorry or is that sucker right there? Oh, come on. <sighs> Sorry, my laptop is a little bit slow. This is here. It's a very old laptop anyway, so bear with me. Alright, so you go to printer setup and software. Click on that. It's going to ask you for this. For security purposes, just go to continue. If you have a strict program, security program on it, just hit continue or oh, accept, whatever pops up there. And then you're going to have this menu that's going to say connect a new printer, convert a USB connected printer to wireless, and add more software. So you're just going to hit the con convert a USB connected printer to wireless. It's going to now ask you to please connect your USB printer to your laptop which I'm doing right there. Give it a minute. There you go. And you hit continue. Like I said, bear with me. It's an old listing. And now it says allow network setup to access the computer or router for your settings. That's click more information if you want to do it. Select yes to allow or select no. I will enter the settings manually. So you can do yes if you like. If you want, you can do it no if you don't, if you want to. So I'm just going to hit yes for it to go to everything and do it uh, itself anyway. Do you want to connect your printer using these settings? Yes. Now it's setting up. This is on a uh, Windows Vista if you're wondering what uh, system I'm using it's Windows Vista it doesn't matter if it's Windows 7, Windows 8 all that stuff it's just the same settings that you go to I mean others might just be they might just have that file in a different location but you just have to file, find that file anyway kinda of froze there for a minute Right now it's searching for printer. Make sure you have your printer on. Don't forget to have your printer connected like it's on.
Kind of taking longer than I thought, but bear with me. Yours might be faster because, you know, like I said, it's an old laptop. And there you go. You have successfully connected right there, you see. You have successfully connected your successful network installation. The printer has been successfully installed over the network. So you see. Next continue. Blah. It's just going to come to this, tell you to connect. It's going to ask you to disconnect the USB from the printer. So, which I'm doing like that. Boom. Disconnected. AC or laptop. God knows what year it is. It's really old. I've had it for almost four or five years. So. It's just gonna now remove the files that had the US for USB connection anyway, but as long as you connect it back again, it's all all that is gonna go back in there if it doesn't work for you anyway. If you connect your USB cable back, everything all that will go back in. So you see, congratulations, the software has been installed successfully. Your new HP printer is now set up and ready to use. There you go, everything is there, it's set up, you just hit finish, and that's it. You all set. So do hit like, comment if you did like this video, if you would want more help on it, send me a note. and. I'll check on it. Thanks and have a good one. Bye.